Hello, my name's Annette Morgan. I'm at the Festival of Quilts in Birmingham in the UK and I've been here teaching since the quilt show first started in 2003. I'm a well-known teacher in the UK and today I want to show you um, a method of transferring images on using t-shirt transfer paper. The paper I use is paper that you can buy from any shop. You can buy it where you buy your paper for your inkjet printer. It is meant for inkjet printers so you will have no trouble putting this through your printer. And you can tell which is the right side and which is the wrong side. This is the right side and this is the side that you want your ink to go on. So you put it through your printer and you can print any pictures that you have on your computer. They might be pictures you've downloaded, but they might be your own photographs. You can also transfer images onto this of images that you've manipulated on your computer, but you can also photocopy as well. So if you have something that you've played around with on a piece of paper, you've done some drawing, you've got some children's drawings, for example, you can photocopy these onto your T-shirt transfer paper. Once the image is on your t-shirt transfer paper, it will look like this. And what you then do is you peel off the film. It's a film that carries the image. You peel it off and you lay it on your fabric. And, but you must cover it with a piece of greaseproof or baking parchment, otherwise your iron will stick to it. My iron's on a cotton setting, so I'm just ironing it in place. and just make sure it's firmly ironed. And sometimes what I do as well is I turn over the piece of fabric and iron from the back just to make sure that it's ironed in place. So I'll just iron it from the back too. And this has now been ironed onto the fabric. It's fairly soft. Some of the t-shirt transfer papers you buy are quite harsh and shiny, but this is really nice and soft. And once you've got a piece of fabric like this, you can incorporate it into other pieces of your work. So for example, in this quilt here, which was made following a visit to Singapore, where I've taken photographs through the little windows in Ruffles Hotel, I've incorporated it into the piece of work. On these pieces here, you can see that I've incorporated it with other screen printed fabric and this is a manipulated fabric, manipulated image on my computer. And this one is images of a place where I used to live, Kings Lynn in Norfolk, showing boat scenes in the river. Once you've got this fabric, not only can you use it in quilts, you can use it, this is a purse my daughter made for me, this is leather at the bottom. This is Thetford Forest in Norfolk near where I live and this is um, an area of Kings Lynn in Norfolk too. So once you've got the basic idea of using this t-shirt transfer paper, you can use it for lots of things. And this is a needle case I made and more and more I'm incorporating photographs of my own embroidery in my work and this is a piece of embroidery that I photocopied onto t-shirt transfer paper and then I've used it in making a needle case. Lots of people at the show have been asking me about stitching into this and you can stitch quite easily and unless you take the stitching out you don't see the needle marks. In this little booklet here I've also got some other ideas where I've photocopied photographs that I've made of uh, flint walls. Where we live in Thetford we live in a little flint cottage and Thetford Forest, the trees in Thetford Forest so I keep a little record of different things I've done. This is the fabric I've used in these quilts here. And these little books, fabric books, are quite fun to make. This is a piece of uh, fabric that I've made, again, using a photograph of my own stitching. And another one here. Also with this t-shirt transfer paper, while it's still actually adhered to the paper, you can cut it up too and you can start making images such as this. So you can cut it up and you can apply it to a background and make a crazy background. And this is another one that I've done while I've been at the show. And this is, um, if I show you this, these ones here, this is a photocopy of trees 
onto t-shirt transfer paper, I've cut the paper up, ironed it onto the fabric and then I've cut up another tree and overlaid it over the top and it will stick to all layers, it will also stick to paper. And this, this is one here where I'll, sh I'll show you what I've done. So this is where I've cut up the t-shirt transfer paper once I've pulled it from the backing. You lay it down and these are other trees that I've cut to shape and you just peel it from the backing you lay it wherever you want on your piece of fabric you need to cover it with a baking parchment and iron it in place so that is now stuck in place and I'll do the same with this little tree that I've cut out. Lay it down. And again, iron it in place. Just making sure that your points are laying down so they don't get rucked up. And there you have it where I've overlaid other ideas on top. And just to say finally that this t-shirt transfer paper, and if you go to the store to buy t-shirt transfer paper, you want to buy the t-shirt transfer paper for dark fabrics, not for light fabrics. The light fabrics work in a totally different way and that's not the product you want. But here I've used paper and what I've done is I've put bond web down first, ironed the paper onto the bond web and then cut out this seed head which I've laid on top from t-shirt transfer paper and this t-shirt transfer paper will stick to paper as well as fabric so there's lots of uses for this and finally I just want to show you this image sorry there's a piece of paper stuck on top there and this was an experiment I did using t-shirt transfer paper <coughs> excuse me I've got scraps of paper here as well as t-shirt transfer paper in the background and I really liked this ship, this boat. It's a fishing boat from Felixstowe in Suffolk in the UK and I cut out the boat and I've placed that on top. And you can see from this one, this is one where I've done a lot of stitching into it. So a lot of stitching enhances the finished and I've got some painted bonderweb here as well as scrim and I've also got some foiling here which also sticks to the t-shirt transfer paper. So I hope that's whetted your appetite to use t-shirt transfer paper. It's a wonderful medium and I hope you go away and experiment with this technique. Thank you for listening.